Today's video should be very straightforward. We're going to be testing some storage. Not the storage itself, but a storage enclosure. This here is a USB 4 slash Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. It's going to give us 40 gigabit per second speeds. The D1 SSD plus brand new portable SSD. This one here is by Terramaster. They specialize in DAS products, direct attached storage, and NAS products, network, network attached storage. This is an example of DAS, direct attached storage. So USB 4 and Thunderbolt. This is a USB 4 laptop. Uh, that there, if you can see just the feet of it, is a Mac Mini. It has Thunderbolt 4. You can test both. Uh, it is compatible, backwards compatible, which is not to be taken for granted. Some Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 devices are actually not backwards compatible. That's good. Uh, 2280 size M.2 and it gives you USB 4 Thunderbolt 4 speeds. Very good. Nice, nice, nice and fast. It's 100% passive cooling, so there's no fans. It's going to give it's enough metal and radiator type design. There's enough metal on this and it has a radiator type design, so it should be able to cool itself pretty well with cooling. Test that. That's nice. What else is in there? Oh, there's a screwdriver. <laughs> cool. So you get a screwdriver, you get a nice little felt carrying case. That's actually very soft. The carrying case, uh, USB-C to USB-C. Oh, it's an 80 gigabit. Oh, interesting. Well, okay, this is actually rated higher than the device itself. It's actually an 80 gigabit per second cable with uh, 240 watt power delivery. That's interesting. Uh, you can see it's a little bit larger here because it's got a lot of metal. There's a lot of aluminum here to absorb via heatsink. And then, of course, the design of it is like a typical radiator where it's going to give off the heat. And that increases surface area, which allows surface area means more area exposed to the air, more heat can come off. It's actually not very heavy despite being a giant piece of metal. I expect it to be a little heavier just looking at it, but let's see here. 240 grams. Yeah, it's pretty light actually. Massive feet of piece of metal. I actually like the aesthetic of it too. I like the kind of just brushed metal look of it. It looks pretty cool in all honesty. Just a cool little thing. Uh, it's just such an unassuming little piece that you'd have on your desk, for example. I'm assuming that is washered. Yes, it is. That's good. Something just so cool. I don't know what it is about the design of that. I don't know. There's something very satisfying about that. Cute little thing. Weep. Yeah. I don't know. There's something about that I just find very aesthetic. It's like a movie prop or something. Just looks cool. Yeah, uh, USB 4 speeds. That would immediately disqualify if it wasn't. But I'm also curious about temperatures. That's probably the more important thing here. So because it's passively cooled, I want it to be passively cool. So Samsung 990 Pro, that is not a cool SSD, by the way. I'm giving it a very, very, very difficult challenge here of cooling a pretty hot SSD. I could throw in, I don't know, like a little, I don't even know where it is. I have a little Gen 3 SSD around here somewhere. I'm not going to run remotely this hot little Patriot drive. It's meant for like laptops and that kind of stuff. That would run well, but it doesn't get hot in the first place. So we're going to give this thing a challenge, this Terra Master, which is French for Terra Master. Actually, Terra is, just means Earth. So that would mean Earth Master. Uh, but Terra might be Latin for Earth. Terra? Terran? Humans from Earth? I don't know. Maybe you're watching too much Star Trek. Anyways, so let's come in here and watch it go. So those are the rights. We can just you can just see that it's writing here. Temperatures are nothing. 32, 32, and 53 to start. Might have to zoom in slightly here. Okay, so it's just writing. I did uh, one run. Let's do another one here. Just show you. Okay, we'll just run it again there. So, okay, so that was a full run. Uh, it took about four minutes or whatever, however long that took, minus me rambling. And it's just not getting hot. 35, 35, 57. It's just not getting hot. 59 there. Yeah, not at all. Uh, let's bring up Crystal just info, even though hardware info was better. Bring it up just for the sake of bringing it up. Okay, so there's crystal disk info. Yeah, 
38 degrees. The temperature, in fact, is not changing. I don't know, I guess I could just keep writing to it and 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 seeing if eventually it ever gets hot. Um, but there's no like temperature. I can feel it's warmer than it was before. Like before it was cold because it was in my hallway. Uh, and it was colder then. And like it's the same as ambient temperature eventually. Right now it's about the same temperature as my skin. Like I can't actually feel any temperature on it. Uh, humans are what, 30, I don't know, 33 degrees? Is that how warm a human is? 33, 34 degrees, something like that. I don't know. Um, doesn't feel hot. So let's get out my thermal imaging camera and show you. Okay, here it is. That's the, uh, that's me. I'm on my computer. Uh, here it is. It's about, there's two little sections left done on, left to do on this Crystal Dismark run. That's the second run. Yeah, it's like the same. That's what I was saying. I was like, it feels exactly like my skin temperature. Like, other than the fact that I'm touching metal and it's not me, it feels exactly the same temperature as me, which is weird. Normally things are, like, colder or hotter. Like, this is colder than my hand. This is cold, way colder than my hand. This is exactly, like, the same temperature as my hand. It's so weird. Uh, anyway, so it's not getting hot. You can see that it's, like, compared to my cold desk. Right, but 32 is super cool. How about the bottom? Same thing. Okay, so now we'll try it on the Mac, Mac mini, over USB 4. I don't remember if the front ports are Thunderbolt 4, uh, and just in case, let's put it in the back, because I feel like they're not on a Mac. That is an unsafe eject, but I don't care. Black target drive, storage four, and run it. Okay. 3,000 megabytes per second and 3,000 megabytes a second. So it works just fine on Mac as well. So obviously it's Thunderbolt 4 compat with no issues. Uh, I kind of want to leave it there. I mean, it's good. It's portable and everything too. But I feel like it's going to get its most use just hooked up to my Mac there. Because it just it looks like it too. <laughs> it's got a cool little aesthetic there. Look at that. Isn't that a sick setup? Come on, guys. It's lines on lines. And uh, yeah, just leave it there. It's quiet. I mean, quiet. it's not quiet, it's silent. Uh, let's try this one here. Yeah, this other program is giving us the same results. Okay, that's the video. So it's done. Um, yeah, so the uh, Terre Master over here, the D1 external USB 4 slash Thunderbolt 4 enclosure is fantastic it gives you exactly the speeds that it is advertised it runs cool very cool and it runs completely silently and it looks cool next to my mac so that's where it's going to live now and it works very well very very good